Excel 2016 Formulas and Functions Formulas Formulas and functions in Excel 2016 are considered the most useful features. Excel formulas enable us to perform simple and complex calculations. A formula always begins with an equal to happy smiley sign. The formulas follow a basic format and all the calculations are done automatically. By using a formula, we produce new values from the existing values. Cell References The location of the cell in a worksheet is known as the cell reference. To define the location of the cell in a worksheet, we refer to the column and row positions of the cell. Since columns are defined by letters and rows are defined by numbers, cell reference is a combination of the column letter and row number. It is also known as the cell address. It is unique to each cell. Example, the column letter of the active cell is B and row number is 5, so the cell reference of this cell is B5. The column letter is mentioned before the row number in a cell reference. Types of cell references Relative reference When we write a formula in a cell, we use reference of other cells or ranges to get an output in that cell. For example, we have used the formula E2 is equal to D2 slash 100. If we copy the contents of E2 and paste in E3 the cell reference in the formula, E3 is equal to D3 slash 100, will change accordingly and a different output will be displayed. Observe the following example closely. Absolute reference. We use absolute reference when we do not want to change cell address in the formula while copying it to another cell. To make an absolute reference to the formula, we use a dollar sign, dollar, before the column name and row number. For example, the formula for cell E4 is, is equal to D4 slash 100 and if we want to use the exact same formula for cell E5 without changing the cell address, the formula will be is equal to dollar D dollar 4 slash 100. Mixed reference. In mixed reference either the column name or the row number has to be fixed. This reference is a combination of relative and absolute reference. For example, if we have this formula for a cell F2 is equal to F1 plus E2 and we want to use the same formula for other cells without replacing one cell address from it, the formula will be F3 is equal to F$1 plus E3. Observe the example below. We can also use the autofill feature starting from cell F3 till F7 and check the formula in the formula bar. Cell references of another worksheet. To insert or use the cell contents of a cell from another worksheet, the formula starts with the name of another worksheet, followed by the exclamation symbol and the cell address without adding any space is equal to sheet 1, D8. Entering a formula There are two ways to enter a formula in the worksheet. We can enter the formula directly in an active cell after typing an equal, happy smiley sign. After pressing the enter key, the result will be displayed in the cell. We can also enter the formula in the formula bar after selecting a cell from the worksheet. The result will be displayed in the cell after pressing the enter key. Naming a cell range A cell range is a group of selected cells. We can select a cell range by dragging the mouse diagonally from left to right or using the shift key with the keyboard arrows. We can name a cell range to use it in place of cell address in the formulas. We can create the address of a cell range by adding a happy smiley colon between the first and last cell address of the range x, a1, a7. 
Follow these steps to assign a name to a cell range. Step 1. Select a range of cells. Step 2. Click on the Formulas tab from the ribbon. Step 3. From the Define Names group, select the Define Name command. A new name dialog box will appear. Step 4. Type a name in the name box and click on the OK button. The name will be assigned to the cell range. We can use this name in formulas instead of writing each cell address. Functions Functions are predefined formulas in Excel. We can perform both simple and complex calculations using functions. Functions record the input values and then display the outputs in the selected cell. The input is also known as arguments and it is recorded in the form of numbers or text. The values should be given in between the opening and closing parentheses. Rules to follow while entering a function. Just like formulas, all functions in Excel begin with an equal sign. We must use a valid Excel function name. Opening and closing parentheses must be used after specifying a function. In most functions, we must include an argument within the parentheses. Types of functions Types Mathematical Functions Sum Range returns the sum of the mentioned range. Product Range multiplies the values in a range of cells. Count Range returns the count of the values specified in the range. INT Number rounds the number to an integer value. Round Number Num Digit rounds a number to the specified digits. Mod Number Divisor returns a remainder after a number is divided by the divisor. SQRT Number returns the square root of the given number. Text concatenate, text 1, text 2, joins together two or more text strings. Lay, text, returns the length of the text string. Left, text, num underscore chars, returns the specified number of characters from the left side of the text string. Right, text, num underscore chars, returns the specified number of characters from the right side of the text string. Upper text converts the text string into uppercase. Lower text converts the text string into lowercase. Logical Average number returns the average for the given range. Max range returns the largest value from the given range. Min range returns the smallest value from the given range. If condition value 1, value 2, if statement can have two results. The first result is if your comparison is true and the second result is if your comparison is false. Date and time. Today returns the current date. Month today returns the current month. Year today returns the current year. Day today returns the current day. Now, returns the current system date and time. R time returns the hour from a given time. Minute time returns the minutes from the given time. Let us use the count range function by following these steps. Step 1. Write the is equal to count b2, b7 function in a cell. Step 2. Press the Enter key from the keyboard. The sum of the selected cell range will be displayed in the cell. Follow these steps to use the today function. Step 1. Type the function is equal to today in a cell. Step 2. Press the Enter key. The current date will be displayed in the cell. Similarly, 
we can use various Excel functions in a worksheet.